I signed in 2000 uh, with the Red Sox, played seven seasons with them, got traded uh, at the end of 2007, and I went to the Texas Rangers, played two years with them, then got traded back to the Red Sox, finished up in 2012. My rookie season uh, was pretty interesting. Um, you know, I was in a clubhouse with a lot of older guys. Pretty interesting things happened. I mean, a couple other rookies, you know, we finished up our home series and had uh, had these little uh, Halloween costumes in our locker and, you know, and, and that was it. So uh, I guess we had to wear those on the plane to go to Toronto. We got dressed and they made us walk uh, about a mile around Boston before they picked us up on the bus. Then we flew out uh, to Toronto. Uh, we arrived there. On the buses, uh, we had to get, uh, we had to sing a song in front of everybody on the bus. Then uh, they dropped us off about five blocks from the hotel, and it was freezing cold. And um, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. What were you dressed up as? <laughs> a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, with the Red Sox, you know, I had, we had, uh, you know, Jason Veritek, uh idolized him a lot. Uh, great catcher, uh, David Ortiz, Manny Ramirez. Mike Lowell, those are just a handful of names with the Red Sox. I uh, was in the locker room with uh, Sammy Sosa, Josh Hamilton, Michael Young um, with, uh, with the Rangers. Um, it was pretty pretty fortunate time, you know, in, in, in my life and career to be in the same locker rooms with those guys. And, uh, you know, you, it, it's just one of those things you got to kind of deal with and, um, and, you know, and try to prepare yourself every day with. For sure, getting called up with the Red Sox because you know it was a lot of older older guys. You know they had Kurt Schilling on there, Tim Wakefield, the guys with a lot of baseball experience. And uh, you know you, you kind of hear things on on how to act or, and what to say in the locker room. You know I, I went in there and kept my mouth shut and just spoke when spoken to. But you know learned a lot of good values from them and you know kind of carried it on through my career and 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 passing along now to my coaching career. I was supposed to start the next day um you know the trade deadline uh, i don't even know when it was but uh i know it was down to the last couple minutes and i was getting prepared to go go back to the go back to my place and uh get ready to pitch the next day we had a day game and uh, you know they told me i've been traded got traded to the rangers flew out the next day to cleveland and joined their team and um you know the, the red sox were in first place at the time um you know and they, they they ended up winning the world series for being a part of their team uh they gave me a uh, World Series ring and uh, very grateful for that. Um, you know, it's a lot of hard work and you know everything that you're you're pushing to do as a as a baseball player. You know, besides getting a, uh, a World Series ring, the best memory I could say is uh, you know having my whole family. You know, at Fenway Park, uh, there were a complete game uh, shutout against the Royals. I had about 15 family members there, and uh, it was it was it was awesome to finish the game and. And then look up there and see the, the, you know, their support and um, you know, and everything that I've I've worked for.